Hey everybody, this is David B69, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another unboxing from Video Games Monthly. Um, first I wanted to point out a couple pickups. One of them was sent to me from eBay, and that was Rory McIlroy PGA Tour. I told you guys I was collecting them. This is the second to last game for PGA that I didn't own. Um, I did have a, I mean, I have a digital version of this game, um, but I really want all the discs. So it's like really, really cool. They created some really wacky, like fantasy courses and stuff, as well as great regular courses. Second game is for the PS5. This is a uh, Pac-Man World Repack. Um, very excited to play this. I was a huge fan of the Pac-Man World games. Um, yeah, so I'm like really excited. Um, not sure if these play all of the Pac-Man Worlds or just the first one. I haven't figured that one out yet, but I will get into it and we will uh, play. So, anyways, so now we're at... <laughs> The video games monthly box. Um, I get five games. Um, generally, you can subscribe to three, four, five, or ten. Um, you can get a one, one, one up, two up, three up. Um, so they give you bonus games. Generally, they do that because the games that you're getting are the lower value overall. Um, I, I generally get it at like pretty close to every month. Um, there have been a couple months where I haven't gotten it, and it's okay, because those months I've gotten, like, really good values. Um, the systems that I'm, I am want, and I'm getting and everything, I really don't know this month. Um, because I'm getting NES, because I know I subscribe for NES, but I'm not sure in regards to the other one. I had it as Dreamcast. And then last week I switched it. It was after the 10 day window. I switched it from Dreamcast to Super Nintendo. So I'm not sure exactly what they're gonna do and how they're gonna do it, but let's get into it. As, as usual, I will open the box and I will not be looking at it, except for when you're looking at it. First thing we got, is a card basically telling us to subscribe and, and basically post everything and update the library for seven business days beforehand. And first thing we got is a nice sticker with Floyd Mania. Because Floyd Mania is running wild. Speaking of Floyd Mania, um, another mania, um, Phillies Mania. The Phillies have won the division, and what the heck? Okay, well, this is weird. Um, this is very weird. I got Side Pocket, um, for the NES, which is cool. I do not have this game. Very excited to have it. Then we got Star Voyager for the NES. Also another game I don't have. Um, then I got a disc for the Dreamcast, NFL Blitz 2000, I'm not happy with just a disc only, um, but again, Dreamcast, I don't know why I got that, but for some reason, they sent me two, they sent me two PlayStation games, PlayStation 2 games. Um, one is Crash Tag Team Racing, which, thankfully, I do not have. Um, I'm sort of excited to have it, but no manual. But again, like I said, I did not have this on my list. And Kenjo Master of Bushido. Um, this is nice and complete. Um... But again, it wasn't... I took PlayStation 2 off my list early last month. Um, so I'm like really confused about that. I'll have to double check 
and see what the heck happened. But thankfully, I got no duplicates. Um, just a little disappointed that the consoles weren't updated. Well, let me get back to you on the uh, on the values, and I'll be right back. And we're back with the values of this month's box. The first one, for the Dreamcast, we had uh, NFL Blitz 2000. That loose disc is worth $16.24 off of price charting. Crash Tag Team Racing is about like, it's like $12 with complete. This one's not, they, they got, gathered a manual a little bit over $2. So I basically nailed this down to $10. They don't have it like listed with, with no manual, with just the case and the disc. So I'm just calling it an even $10. Next one is a complete with Kenjo, Master of Bushido. Um, that is, this is complete and it is $9 and 16 cents. Now, Star Voyager, this game, it's very interesting. It's a five screw. Since it's a five screw, it is valued at $7 and 97 cents. If it was a three screw, it's only $5 and 97 cents. Kind of interesting. But it's a cool one to have. I've never never played that before. Um, and lastly, we have Side Pocket. And this is valued at $8. So the total value is $51.37. Definitely got our money's worth this month. Um, super stoked. Um, I'm going to send an email to the... To the guys letting him know that I did take PS2 off of my list. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully this won't happen again next month. Um, but anyway, I'm, I am very happy. I got no duplicates. I don't own any of these games. So basically it's a win. I still have all these consoles and stuff. So it's fine. I just didn't have any more shelving to put the PlayStation 2 games. That's why I basically wanted to stop. So, anyway, so I'll just throw them a, I'll give them a quick email, and uh, I'll let them know. So, anyways, until next time, this is David B. 69 and I am out. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.